everybody, and welcome back to episode 182 of Cinerucana, where we are going to face at least Droll's antibodies, but maybe him himself. We shall see. What does Droll's antibodies look like? Okay, Purge the Land is a bit stronger, Defense is stronger. Yeah, defense doesn't matter if you use the force the attack. Same weapons massacre I'm got a bit saying. higher percentage, and that thing is quite a bit stronger. Void stirring is at two thousand now instead of twelve hundred. Wow! I do not want to be hit by that. Remember, Euphoria does have that thing that will prevent him from using it. Uh, I don't think I gave her all this dust. Ah, I keep thinking that you have. But he'll never get enough mana with Katima attacking. He might be a bit stronger, but this team has taken <laughs> down like seven of the weaker ones, so they can handle one bigger one. Especially having all my stuff back. All right, make sure you set the team just right. Passion is good. You got the action. You might block. want to go defensive style. Actually, we want. Actually, wait. Uh, actually, no, he's never going to get enough mana to use. Well, this is only a tender. Yeah. Yeah, he's. He's, yeah, he's he doesn't stand a chance. Uh, he'll never get enough mana to do anything with Katima's blade. And she'll be able to use that turn one. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I think you might want defensive style. No. No? Why? Because he has one defense, so going aggressive style isn't going to really help so much. Whereas if you go defensive style, you can change up your defense. I could do that anyway. But I don't need to. <laughs> oh, you want to go aggressive style? Okay, then. Solace is perfectly capable of blocking his attack. Really? Yeah, I didn't take any damage in the entire... All the battles until I started running out of his higher level uses. Now I got all his uses back. Uh, this isn't a problem. Well, if he never gets enough mana to use uh, either of his major attacks, which he won't with Soul Cutting Blade. これで決めます。評価を変える必要があるの。<laughs> he never built any attack mana. <laughs> and he's t 
10 short on deep, but four, so yeah. Keeping him at one charge every turn is just devastating to him. <laughs> These battles would have been a whole lot harder had I not gone with Katima. Because I don't think she would have that attack without being on her route. <laughs> I'd be using Zetsu's instead, but his doesn't lower the mana charge. Um, oh, this is a new battle! New combat! <laughs> uh, let's see... Yeah, that attack's quite a bit stronger too. <laughs> Actually does more than a heal. <laughs> どうぞ。よう Second one? Alright, fine. <laughs> is this one the same as the first? Or is there a difference? Mm, I imagine this is the same. Feed him in the same way. And since we already know it works, we can pretty much just skip it. Bodies down! The antibodies with Jerol's power are far stronger than the previous ones. Really? Nah, only far about. stronger? <laughs> nah, only a little bit. Well, far stronger on their support, but I never let them use those. 
Uh, yeah, right, way stronger on the support, but not so much on the attacks, just a little bit stronger. He's just a little bit. <laughs> No matter how many times we knock them down, they just keep getting back up. Just a little more. We can do it! As planned, they're trying to create an opening for Zetsu to use his Eternity Sword against your roll. But it's too hard for them to get close to him. We're merely being worn down. Should we gamble everything on an all or nothing assault? Do you have an idea? I'll take the lead and open a path. Zetsu must be right behind me. We don't have any other choices. I'll help you. Mateo, no, hold it. Shouldn't we be leading the charge? Leave it to us. You should be with Mizomu. Balia. Let's do this. Alright! I'm burning up! Just don't get in my way. Right back at ya. Saluska clenches his fists and drops into a low stance in front of the antibodies. Dahlia steps forward too, holding her spear in front of her. Let's go! Right! Both of them rush forward with a shout. The power of their eternity swords wraps around them. They shoot forward like bullets fired from a gun. <laughs> Out of the way! <laughs> Pass open! Now! Alright, go! Setsu draws his sword and cuts it to roll. The opening in his shield of antibodies lasts an instant. Jirol was so sure of his defense that he's caught off guard for just a moment by Zetsu. Oh, not bad. <laughs> Jirol easily blocks his attack with Aurora. But Zetsu pushes his for sword forward with both hands. <laughs> Weakling! You think this is enough to hurt me?! Sparks fly as their swords slide against each other. Setsu draws further power out of Daybreak and tries to overcome Jirol's Aurora. Jirol is pushed back slightly. Aurora and Daybreak begin to resonate. The two Eternity Swords that share the same origin are displaying their true power for the first time. <laughs> What is this power? I've never felt anything like it before. Jirol's power is bleeding into you through your eternity sword. Ah, I thought so. What is this feeling? Jirol's mind can be entered now. Now! Setsu signals. As they planned, now is the time for them to enter Jirol and recover Nozomu. Another battleground. Leave this to me. Katima rushes up behind Setsu. What are you doing? Stop! He's in pain. Is he rejecting it? 
誰だって異物が侵入しようとすれば拒絶反応を起こす普通だとここで弾かれて終わりだ Anybody would reject a foreign substance going into them. Normally, she'd be forced out, and that would be the end of it. But we can't let that happen. Nozomu's inside Jerol. If he's still alive, he'll accept her. <laughs> Stop! Stay out of me! Katima moves through Nozomu's mind like she's swimming in an ocean. Oh, look, a screenshot's the chance. A pure white space. But not light, not snow, nothing shining, nothing glimmering. It, it, it seems to be quite the shine. Just Even pure white. Like there's nothing there at all. Is this truly Nozomu's mind? Or is this simply nothingness stretching before her? Katima searches for him within the white. Nozomu, can you hear me? There's something else floating in the white. A cloud of bubbles. With nothing else at all around her, she can spot it immediately. It could be Nozomu's consciousness. She tries to touch the indefinite thing before her. It's so faint that it could disappear at any moment, but it feels just like Nozomu. She doesn't know why. It stirs a longing inside her. You've been feeling Nozomu? It's so weak. She lovingly wraps her arms around the bubbles and holds them close. Nozomu, can you hear me? It's Katima. The bubbles pulse, like a heartbeat answering her. Thank God. You still remember me, don't you? They pulse again. I'm here to bring you back. Let's leave here together. There's no reaction this time. He's refusing to leave with her. The bubbles of his thoughts leak out from between her fingers. He's going somewhere else. Katima follows after him. Katima chases after him for a while into the white space. His mind seems to stretch out forever. She wonders if her own looks the same as this. That's... A huge tree is growing before her. Okay, how is she not see a huge tree? An ancient there tree is. floating in the pure white space. Nozomu is bound to its trunk. Uh, it can't. The bubbles she thought were Nozomu suddenly transform into the shape of a person. Name? Katima realizes her grave mistake immediately. That was not Nozomu. The real Nozomu is before her, the man bound to the tree. The bubbles finish taking shape. He has wild eyes and two swords in his hands. Jerol, so that was you. He chuckles in a low growl. What? We are one and the same. I cannot help you mistaking him for me. You led me here? I thought I'd kill you in front of him. <laughs> That's a mistake. 
変なことをすれば望みは一生ここから出ようとしないでしょうそれが狙いですか If you do, then he will remain here his entire life. So that's what you are after. Akiramero, Oreva Nozomuno Karada or Tebanas Moriwanae. Nozomuni a Kogode Zutonemut de Demorata Honga, Sugo ga inoda. Give up. I will not leave his body. It's better for him to sleep here forever. Kantani Akiramero, to my desk. You think I'd give up that easily? Katima takes hold of her sword. You do realize you stand no chance against me. Maybe not alone, but I think she will with Nzomu's help. Can't threaten her in front of him. What is he going to do that he won't have already done? Perhaps. But I've come this far. I cannot turn back now. I will defeat you and take Nozomu back. Oh, aren't we brave? There is a good reason for that. Let me prove it to you. She bravely raises her sword and points it at him. Her speed is no less in this world. She closes in on Jerol in an instant and slashes at him. Okay. Pathetic! No, it's pretty nice. He blocks her sword with hardly any effort. I'm not done yet! She attacks again, undaunted. I told you that you're no match for me! He swings Aurora. His sword seems to disappear into her body. And he effortlessly sends her hurtling across the ground with the flat of his blade. I couldn't even see it. Jerol silently stands over her fallen body and raises his sword. <laughs> Die! Talk about recycled animation. She cannot dodge. Her back is slashed open by his merciless cut. She saved her life by twisting at the last second. But even in this world made of thought, the pain of his blade burns through her. Jerol points his sword at her again to finish her, as he, she scrambles to her feet. Don't struggle! You're destined to die! You merely prolong your own suffering! <laughs> Not yet. The battle isn't over yet. I told you at the start, didn't I? I am not going to die here. Do you care so much about him? What a stupid question! I am here precisely because I do! I see. He smiles fearlessly and brings down his sword again. A diagonal spurt of blood erupts from Katima's chest. Oh. She raises her sword despite her wounds. You still fight! He blocks her attack without even looking at it. Crimson blood pours from her chest and back. Even if it's not a real body in this world, the pain is the same. But still, she does not give up. Why would you go so far? She speaks through pale lips. I've 
今度は私が与える番なのです。シーヌさんは、ファイトを与えてくれたのです。今度は、私が与えてくれたのです。The world pulses as if in response to her words. Nozomu, <laughs> you heard me? What? You're awakening? Nozomu's eyes begin to open. Katima is reflected within them. He mutters something quietly. Barely more than a whisper. Only Katima hears him. Now please wake up! We still need you! What? The space of his mind is collapsing! The pure white world is twisted black. It's Nozomu's dark thoughts. Only now do the two sides of him mix. Proof that he's once again regained his existence. The space of his mind heaves and begins to fall apart, dragging Katima and Jarol along with it. Ever since I was little, I've kept my distance from other people, no matter who it was. I think I knew that I was different ever since I was born. It wasn't just some teenage rebellion, it was the power of the Eternity Sword sleeping inside me. Until the school was attacked by the minions, I didn't realize what it was. I'd been telling myself that it was just a lie. I knew about it, about my Eternity Sword, about my power, about Jerol. I knew about it, but I kept looking away. I felt some other thing inside me that wasn't myself, and I couldn't accept it. I was afraid that I'd lose myself if I did. I was afraid that it'd awaken without me even realizing it, and I'd hurt someone. That's why I kept my distance from everyone. I wasn't trying to be a loner. I just. Thought that was the only way to protect myself. <sighs> But there were fr the friends who I cared about Nozomi, Setsuki, Setsu, Shinsuki, Misato. When the minions attacked, I instantly wanted to protect everyone. I had been rejecting Aurora all my life, but it reacted to my feelings. I was happy I was strong enough to protect them, and I came to realize how important the people around me were. I had to protect everyone, and I continued to fight so that we could go back to our world. However, Jerol was sleeping inside me, and he stirred every time I used that power. The fear that it would swallow me grew more and more real every day. But we couldn't escape the fighting, and I had to keep using my sword. But there was a part of me that wanted to fight. When you have power, not using it to help people is wrong. I was afraid of waking to roll if I used too much power, but I'd have been a coward if I held too much back. After helping Katima in her world, something about me changed. It wasn't just the awakening of my power that changed me, it was everyone else fighting beside me. If I had been the only one with an Eternity Sword, I would have definitely tried to suppress that power. And one day, it probably would have erupted and swallowed me. I could fight all this time because of them, I was never alone. But Jerol fully awakened. I terrified everyone. Now someone's come to find me. I'm not Jerol. Jerol only wants power. All that lies at the end of his path is solitude and destruction. 
They must have realized it too at the end. There's nothing in this world, nothing that will accept him. That's why he tried to leave this world with Narakana. But even if he had succeeded, nothing would have changed. You can't solve anything with power alone. What did I want to do after everything had been destroyed? I still don't know. There was only more power. The question was always what to do with it. You didn't have any purpose. All you could do was crush everything around you. Nothing more, nothing less. Do not mock me. That is more than one who is powerless can do. But you know, even if you came back to Narakana in the end, right? Didn't you want to save her? When you think about it, he's a pitiable man. No purpose, nothing driving him but rage. Then you have a purpose? You are also one with the power of an eternity sword, are you not? I'm not using my power to try to soothe my anger. I'm using it to protect myself and my friends. I've never used it for anything else. Can you say that you've protected them? The southern gods took advantage of you, and you nearly lost them. That's why I'm going to change the world so that that never happens again. What? We're going to change the world so that we can live in peace. Not a ruled world ruled by the Sephiroth and Ekkaretha. A truly free world. You think such a dream is possible? When I imagine the faces of everyone I care about, Nozomi, Satsuki, Naya, Katima, Rapatna, Salas, Shinsuki, everyone. I feel like I can do anything. The larger the burden I carry, the more that I feel like I can never lose. This can't go on. I have to change the world, no matter what. And because of my friends, I believe that I can. Fighting just for yourself is pointless. But when you're fighting for someone else, you can become even stronger. That is your strength? You're weak because you don't have anything but yourself. That's why the Sovereign Gods could take advantage of you. <laughs> Quite the mouth. Jerol, please help me. Let me shoulder your burden, yours and Narakana's. Can you do that? I can. I can make it to where you couldn't. Because I have friends that I believe in. Nozomu. Alright, enough of this elbow's hair. Nozomu. <laughs> 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 
確かにお前一人では無理だがお前たち全員なら俺が見えなかった景色が見れそうな気がする So that is what I lack It is impossible for you by yourself But perhaps all of you together can reach the future that I could not Let's change the world together. Make it a world where everyone is free. I will lend you my power, but in return you cannot lose. If you ever do, then I will take your body away from you again. Of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. So, I see. Do not forget your promise. Jerol fades away. At the same time, strength begins to return to my body. The power of my eternity sword and Jerol inside me once again. I can feel both of them. When I open my eyes, I'm in the Sephiroth. <clears throat> Am I back? Something suddenly wells up from within me, in inside me. And Reimei appears on my shoulder! <laughs> Ah, uh, where are we? Oh, you finally escaped his control. You, Jewel, you traitor! Isbel, were you hiding inside me? Isbel rises up out of my body and into the air, looking for a new host. But she's not trying to fight. She's only trying to escape. She has no way left to attack. The plans of the southern gods have collapsed because of Droll. There's the northern gods, the southern gods, and the sovereign gods. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it ends. I won't let her kill anyone else like she did with Avolia. I grasp my swords and follow her into the air. So, Ugh, stay away from me! I want nothing to do with you! But I'm not finished with you! I clench Aurora tight. Unbelievable power flows through my hands from the hilts. Jerol, looks like I already need your power. <laughs> Maggot, how far are you going to go? Isbel continues trying to escape to the very end. She tries to stop me with antibodies, but they're nothing to me now. Disappear forever! We don't need gods like you anymore! Why me? She's cut in half. The antibodies collapse into dust as she screams her last. <sighs> it's over. Excellently done. I'm glad to see that you've grown so much. What are you so proud of? You didn't do anything at all! What? I've always been watching over you! Yeah, yeah. Something deep inside my chest throbs. Maybe it's Jerol saying that I did well. Alright, time to go back to the others. And then I accidentally unsummon my swords like usual, without even thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs>
Wait a second. <laughs> Forgetting that I'm not on the ground. What are you doing? Huh? I realize it oh. too late. <laughs> it's like Farley Coyote. <laughs> Raymay and I go hurtling head first toward the ground from hundreds of feet in the air. Wow. Why is Rain going hurtling? She can float. <sighs> we did it! Mission successful! Oh, now Rain's back, so she can. Yeah, I wonder how I did on this one. I spent quite a bit of time. Defeating this one over here and leveling it up, but I think I kind of made up for it when I plowed through all, all, all the uh, entire end game of it in like just a few IPs. Mm -hmm. These are the whole thing, like what, 900? It really is just a person without an adult move around. I'm so happy. Come on, good Seven good seventy-seven. Good <laughs> seven. Yep, double S. S. Booyah! That final velocity combined with her IP upscale, just like wow, definitely made it up there at the end. Another sixty thousand mana. Jeez. So, uh, do you think that means and that's the same one that I've got for this chapter? I thought it's supposed to be next chapters. Maybe that is next chapter, and for some reason you got it early? Or, or, maybe, maybe, the, or maybe there is nothing beyond this one. That's what I'm thinking, but then why would it did say that? it did say that Jazita... Well, I mean, no new um, relics. We'll just be getting this one over and over to get everybody their strongest skills. Although, that doesn't make any sense, because like, nobody's gotten twos of anything, really, other than attacks. Water Shield 2. Uh, I mean, Literally like I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, like things like lightning fire two or or uh, flame you shower two too. or 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 frickin' energy leak two. I still have absolutely nothing that can counter spells above six. Anyway, select here it is, and then it. Should be about time to end the episode. I'm guessing that we are probably just about to hit chapter 12. Which is a nice episode stopping point. So I'm, oh, wait. That's it, guys. Seems really fun. But what the hell is Chapter 12 going to even involve? We don't have any enemies left. I guess remaking the world? <laughs> okay, what was that? Now I can hear again. You're saying something. Huh? Is uh, what the heck is Chapter 12 going to actually involve? Uh, so we don't have any enemies left. Maybe just remaking the world somehow. <laughs> I have a feeling that Chapter 12 is going to be... Well, 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 unless we're actually going to come up against the Chaos Eternals. Probably. But I just have a feeling that Chapter 12 is going to involve a lot of story. Um, I don't even know what I want. I don't really think that's very useful. Most of the enemy skills are five and higher now, anyway. Although I guess it does raise everybody's strength, lower all endurance, raise blue attribute. <laughs> it only costs two mana. You have oh yeah that pff, meh. Hers was protection red. Let's see what I'm think. What I'm wondering is like, 
if that is your last time on the field, why did you win a bunch of uh, bound mana? I never said it was last time on the field. What I no, said is that expensive. this relic is probably the strongest relic we get, especially since it said for Jazit in particular, this is my strongest skill. No, when I'm wondering, I was wondering something slightly different. Like, if there is no combat in the next chapter, why do we get so much uh, mana? There's definitely, I think I there's definitely more combat in the next chapter. Where? Is that something to do with remaking the skills, or maybe fighting the Chaos Eternals, or who knows? But something. Sasuke got Summoner up. Katima Summoner up. Salus Reinforcer. Oh, also, New Game Plus carries over your mana. Oh, it does? Yeah. Well, wow. So, even if there's not any combat in Chapter 12, which I'm very much doubting... Those stu those silly a two antibodies were no were not a very good final boss. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It could be just a final boss with Alice got whole reinforcer map. up. Uh, Arcana summoner up. Fourier reinforcer up. Zomu has rejoined the party. Nozomi, Nozomi, where All right, so. Do you think we're going to hit chapter 12 uh, right away, or should we end it here and then have another video before then? The only thing I did was fight the two antibodies and go through the little sea. I guess that took a while. Alright. Um, yep. Quite a bit of a scene. Yeah, see, yeah. We don't know if chapter 12 is 5 minutes away or 15 minutes. Yeah, we really don't, but uh, yeah, we can break it here. Don't need to break at the chapter points, I guess. Uh, Alright, well, yay! Zomu's probably more powerful than ever, since he's kind of uh, made peace with Jerol. Going to work together. Which is also kind of why I'm thinking at the probably won't be any more, like, combat. This person is Zomu would theoretically be able to just destroy anything that gets in their way. Like, Easily. like Narukana couldn't already do that? Yeah, but now, well, actually, Narukana has a lot of her power, like, sealed up in different places. Yeah, okay. including the Zomu sword! <laughs> exactly. And Zetsu's! But, now but yeah, the, it was the Chaos Eternals that are the ones that sealed her, so I'm thinking that maybe we'll be taking them on to try to get rid of them so that she can regain her full power, and then she'll have the power to remake the world as Nozomu wants. Remake which world? The Time Tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, which I, which I actually found, which I actually got to the part in uh, my my solo, solo playthrough that I just started where uh, we were in the tavern or going into the uh, elemental world and when we chose who we took with us this time I took uh, Satsuki instead of Katima since I'm thinking about going for Raputna and she hasn't joined yet but I wanted to see what her thing was because she's supposed to be more knowledge about it she actually said that the time tree as a whole is is named Etka Refa, so that's what the Etka Refa that keeps point popping up is referring to. I was wondering what it's, Etka Refa was. Yeah, it's the entirety of the time tree. That's the name of the time tree. Etka Refa. So, yeah, I thought I'd mention that since I just came across that earlier today, and I'm like, oh, well, if, if Thalia said it when we had Katima with us, I don't remember it, but I don't think she did, because this because I've been wondering what the heck Etka Refa is every time it's been mentioned in this game. So, any case, thank y'all for watching, and have a good hey, one! Have a good one!